What's up, everybody? I'm Brock with PDQ, and we are back for another Patch Tuesday recap. And this one's kind of a big deal, because this is October 25, and you know what that means? The unfortunate demise of Windows 10. Yes, this is the last day, October 14th, that you're gonna receive patches for Windows 10, unless you've got money, which, I mean, money solves all problems. In that case, you don't gotta worry about it. So, I think Microsoft kind of like, went big with this patch release because man, they're hitting some record breaking numbers. So let's get into the details. Total exploits patch 173, nine of those being critical, 162 important and two moderate. The vulnerabilities we're talking about today are gonna be, we got a lot of remote code executions, 32, elevation of privilege, we've got 80. Information disclosure, 28, spoofing 10, tampering one, denial of service 11, and feature bypass, we've also got 11 of those. Now, the worst part about today is we've got three publicly disclosed and three actively exploited right now. So that means that I would probably rush these patches out, especially if you we're talking about stuff that uh, you might be running in your environment. So review these patches, see what they impact, and then kind of like rush the testing phase so you can get those out there. And I say that with a caveat because we're talking about Microsoft here and you know, testing is very important when it comes to uh, pushing out their, their updates. So let's get into some of our highlights or what we like to call low lights. So we've got CVE 2025-59287. Microsoft had everybody worried last year when they announced the deprecation of Wasus. Well, I'm here to tell you that you might've freaked out for nothing because they're still here, they're still patching it. And you know, I kind of said this already that like Wasus isn't going anywhere. It's gonna outlast all of us. CVE 2025-59287 is a 9.8 RCE vulnerability impacting Wasus, but it's patched. So all three of you clinging onto Wasus, you can sleep soundly tonight. All right, next up we got CVE 2025-24990. Now this is one of our uh, actively exploited CVEs. This one comes in at a 7.8 CVSS score. So how bad is it? Microsoft gave it a severity of important, but if you love to send faxes, I would panic because their official fix for this CVE is to basically disable the agar modem driver, which I don't know if I said that right, and you probably don't either, so it doesn't matter, but that's their fix, just disable it. Honestly, I think that this whole CVE is just fabricated by Microsoft to convince people to stop sending faxes. So, and if that's the case, I totally support it. Let's talk about CVE 2025-59230. Now, if you like your remote connections with a side of public exploitation, well, this one's for you. This CVE is another of today's zero days and it's impacting or leveraging improper access controls with Windows Remote Access Connection Manager. Now, this is going to lead to a elevation of privileges. Luckily, this is only a local attack vector but that doesn't mean that they can't exploit this remotely by convincing one of your users to do something dumb or click on something dumb. But I mean, you and I both know that our users would never do that, right? Right? So we don't, we, we don't even gotta worry about this. I mean, this one's, this one's in the bag, just send out the patch. We don't gotta worry about our users. I'm sure they're just working hard or something. But yeah, that's it. That's gonna wrap this one up. It's a big day for Microsoft. Like I said, Windows 10 end of life. Unfortunately, there's also a lot of other applications that are hitting end of life today as well. We've got those all listed out in the blog. Microsoft has listed them out there. So it's kind of a sad day because I think overall, Windows 10 is gonna be missed, especially with the direction that Windows 11 is headed with things like bloatware and ads and AI and all this other stuff that nobody really asked for. But it's there anyways, and that's what we got, so that's what we're gonna live with. Uh, but anyways, yeah, with the severity of some of these uh, patches, especially being publicly exploited or already known, I would definitely take a look at this as soon as you can, maybe bump up your testing schedule a little bit and then deploy them out a little quicker to your users, especially if, some of these CVEs impact stuff you use in your environment. For today, that is gonna do it. Thank you for watching with PDQ. I'm Brock, take care.